Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. This is Daisy. Have you ever wondered if you can sublimate dark cotton t-shirts using transfer paper? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sublimate on dark cotton t-shirts using transfer paper. And the equipment and supplies needed for this project are a printer with sublimation ink, dark fabric transfer paper, I am using a sub dark fabric transfer paper, a heat press or an easy press, butcher or parchment paper, scissors, a lint roller, and heat resistant tape. In the description below, I'm going to link the supplies used in this tutorial. I'm going to start working with the design, but before I would like to invite you to please support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting, and by pressing the notification bell. This is the design I'm going to be printing today. And to print this design, I'm going to be using the free graphic design program Inkscape. If you don't have it and would like to give it a try, go to their website inkscape.org and download it. If you like this design, I invite you to visit me on my blog and there you can download it for free. Once downloaded on your computer, I'm going to show you how to insert the design to the Inkscape Canva. The first step is to adjust the size of the paper we are going to be printing. Go to File, click on Document Properties, and you are going to see this window on the right. Here you can select the size of the paper you are going to be printing. I am going to select Letter Size and Landscape. Now we're going to insert the image we're going to be working with. Go to File, click on Import, select the image or design you are going to use, open it, and here we're going to click OK. The image looks super big because I saved it in high resolution. Like this, you are going to obtain a clear and sharp impression. To change the size, go to the size bar above and here, instead of millimeters, change it to inches. Close the lock and resize it. I am going to resize it to 11 by 8.5. Grab it and place it on top or inside the letter size rectangle. Once you have resized it to your liking and it's ready to print, we're going to go to File, click on Print. Here, select the printer you are using, click on Preferences, make sure it's on letter size or the size you're printing. On Paper Type, select Premium Presentation Paper Matte. On Quality, select High. Print Preview if you wish. And since we are printing dark fabric transfer paper, we don't need to select Mirror Image. Go to More Options and make sure to uncheck Mirror Image. Only because we are printing transfer paper. And this is a preview of how it's going to print. If everything looks ok, click on print. To print my design, I am using an Epson EcoTank printer with sublimation ink. Don't worry if your printing is a little dull. Remember, sublimation ink activates with heat. After pressing, the colors are going to look very vivid and bright. Cut around with scissors or with a Cricut machine if you have one. Now that it's already cut, let's remove the paper on the back.
Let's align the design on the t-shirt. But first, I'm going to clean it with a lint roller. Grab one of the pieces of parchment paper that comes in the box and place it on top of the design. If you wish, you can secure it with heat resistant tape. Now let's press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Place a large piece of butcher paper on top of the design before pressing. Let's reveal the design. I like how it looks. It looks beautiful and the colors just as in the picture. This is how it looks sublimated on dark fabric transfer paper. Now, if you are wondering how it's going to look after washing, I'm going to show you a few that I have already washed four times and to me, they still look perfect. The transfer paper is not damaged, nor the colors they still look vivid and bright. And I think it's a great option to customize dark cotton t-shirts. Stay tuned because in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sublimate on light colored t-shirts using light fabric transfer paper. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to support my channel by subscribing, liking, commenting and by pressing the notification bell. Thank you for your visit and I'll see you in my next tutorial.